Hello, welcome to Sense of Beauty by Stephanie. I am Stephanie. I love showing you detailed tutorials all about beauty, skincare, and curly hair. And today's video, I am going to go over one of my number one curly girl questions that I get over on my Instagram page. So let's jump into it. Let's talk root clipping. Root clipping is my number one curl secret to achieving root volume. I have fine hair and my hair is getting pretty long at this point. So I really need to focus on achieving volume right at the roots because believe it or not, my hair is normally really flat on top, like all over here, sides, all of it is just normally flat. So I really have to work on bumping that up. And I feel like with fine hair, it's kind of hard to work with sometimes because you don't have as much to really lift up. So I just washed and styled my hair. So I already put all of my products in. I scrunched and I diffused. So at this point, I would say I'm 90% dry. I like to have just a little bit of dampness to my hair when I root clip. There are several options when it comes to root clips right now, which is great. We have so many to choose from and it really depends on your type of hair. I have fine hair, but I have a good amount of it, um, and it's long, so I like something that's really going to lift. Another popular type of root clip, um, I'm gonna show you my favorite one, but a popular style is the metal pronged one. I'll put a couple examples here for you to see. Those never interested me. I thought it just wouldn't grab enough hair and make enough of a difference to where it would be worth my time putting those little small clips in and then trying to get them out. I always hear people also commenting on how it snags their hair easily. So one day I came across these right here. These are the roller jaw clamps from Root Keeper. I'm going to um, list and link all the products below for you. This really intrigues me when I saw these. I thought, okay, those are really big. I feel like they could really like grab onto my hair and lift it up, which is what I wanted. But I, it took me a while to actually purchase them because I thought they're too big. I thought my hair was so fine that it would slip out of my hair. So I was actually nervous to try them. Um, but once I did, it blew me away. So there are various ways that you can root clip. I get so many questions on well, how do I put them in? How many do I use? When do I place them in? How does it work? And I would suggest, like with all hair techniques and styling advice that I give you, experiment and see what works best for you. If you have a part in your hair, I think that will also make a huge difference. I don't have a strict part. Uh-oh, my, <laughs> my hair's drying more as we speak. I better get these in quick. Um, the reason I don't like to put these in when I'm fully 100% dry is because your hair is dry, it's already set in place. At that point, if you root clip at the end when your hair is dry, it's not gonna make that difference. It's already gonna be pretty much set in place. So let me hurry up and put these in. So I don't have a strict part. If you do have a strict part, a lot of women who, let's say you had a strict part like right here, you could, a lot of times you would want kind of lift right at that part. So in that case, you can go horizontally and put it like right at the center of that part. So then you're going to get that lift right at the part. So you could do, depending on your hair and your head, <laughs> you could put maybe two or three, I would say running down your part. And then you could put um, a couple other ones just kind of around the base on the other side here to even it out. Um, I do not have a strict part, like I said, so I usually flip it this way. It kind of tends to go naturally. Um, and then I, I actually have root clipped this way and this way, and they both worked. When I first got it, I put them in horizontally and just kind of all around my head. Now I've been putting them in this way and it's worked both ways, so play with it. So when I put it in, I spread it all the way out like this, 
and I want to, because the whole point of root clipping is to lift your roots. So I'm going to put it right here and I want to drag this up to here. So I'm keeping this one in place and I want to drag this up towards it. And then I just keep going and doing that same technique. If you were to just open it and clamp it down, you're actually pulling the top part downwards, which is not what you want. You want it all lifted up. So I get like chunks of hair because I really like to lift all of that up. So I'm starting at the back here. Again, I open it all the way and then I drag that bottom up to the top. And I usually put I think two or three back here. So I'm gonna have one that's like right in the center at the back. And then I'll even do one that's right here. But again, wherever you are looking to add that extra volume, that's where you wanna place it. Maybe you don't have an issue with volume at this back area. I like volume all in my crown, root, top of my head basically. So now at this front part, I will go ahead and put like two or three across the top here. So I'll kind of even use my fingers like you just saw just to kind of get this section. And I'm going to lift this one up. Let's see. <laughs> this set I have is white it comes with a, a whole bunch of them, but I've lost so many at this point. <laughs> I like having it all one color for you. So I'm gonna use my black ones now, but it's the same exact clip. It just comes in a full set um, with white and black. So you get tons of them. And then I'm doing this side. And then I think I'll even do one more because this one's still pretty high on top of my head, so I'm going to get one more right in this section. There we go. So again, just experiment with the amount of clips you're putting in, the direction you're putting, and kind of strategically how you're placing them in just to see the results you get, and you can kind of adjust as you go. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like all the way around. probably looks kind of crazy right now. But once I'm completely finished putting them in, I like to spray my whole crown area. This is the Thickening and Volumizing Holding Spray. You can grab this one from my um, website. I'll link that down below too, but I'm going to spray. I like that it's a really, I don't know if you can see, it's a really nice, light, fine mist, and it's not like sticky or crunchy but it's going to really distribute it all around and like lock that root volume and lift in place. Now at this point, I will either let my hair completely air dry. So a lot of times I just, <laughs> I'll do it on the weekend or something. So then I'm just running around doing laundry and cleaning up and these are just air drying. Or of course you can always hit it with the diffuser really quick. So this will just take me a few minutes. done. <laughs> I try to stick my fingers and kind of squeeze at the roots just to make sure it's dry and I think we are good. I lifted the camera up a little bit higher so hopefully you could see better what's happening on top of my head here. So you always want to remove any root clips you're using very carefully. So these, I just open it and slide them out and again like I've never had a trouble with these like slipping out or falling out like I initially thought I would, but I love how it just gets that whole chunk of hair without like squishing or flattening your curls at all. So
And I think these actually come out super easy. Even with the spray and everything, spraying that on top of it, it never gets like stuck in my hair, doesn't snag my hair. Okay, so now, look at that. It's like, this is why I love it so much. It's just like in place, all that lift and all that volume. But we're going to go ahead and scrunch this crunchiness of the gel cast that I have in my hair. And I'll be right back. I am going to now scrunch out the crunch I have. Just you, depending on the kind of products you use, you might have kind of that crunchy hard cast in your hair. So I'm going to just use an oil and scrunch that out. Do a little bit more for the other side. I haven't even fluffed or shaken out my roots, so let's do that and that'll help even more. Gonna shake out my roots a little bit. So I love how light and soft and bouncy it is. I just get all that lift right where I want it, just this whole top of my head basically, but also throughout because I, I feel like root clipping in this back area also helps just kind of round it out at the back too so I don't have like weird flat spots. And then depending on how you root clip, the way I do it, kind of naturally how my hair falls, I can flip my hair this way or I can flip my hair this way and um, it looks good both ways. But again, if you have a strict part, then do it more strategically based on where the part is. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below and let me know what you would like to see in the next upcoming video. I'll be taking a look at all of your suggestions.